Now, I'm going to just say this. The 4B movement is not going to work in the United States of America. It's not. And the reason it's not going to work in the United States of America, for one, is you will always have small sections of pigmishas that will still give Pookies and Ray Rays access to the draws. I mean, I'm Please tell me you've heard the men who oppose the 4B movement. Please tell me you've listened to what they have to say. It won't work. Why are you talking about it if it won't work? If it's just a silly thing that won't work, why are you talking about it? <laughs> and then the ones who are like, it's going to ruin community. What? Because the romantic relationships won't be happening with men who treat women terrible? Aww. No new relationships, no new friends. <laughs> And then they're like, I need to be able to treat women any way I want and still have access to them. Okay, partner, slow down there. You take it easy. <laughs> the men are scared of 4B movement, you all. They are literally scared of 4B movement. They are trying to convince women not to join the movement. They are bothered. They are panicking. They are scared. Ah. Uh, I thought they said women are gonna die alone. <laughs> so why are they scared? <laughs> hey beautiful people, how y'all doing today? It's your favorite girl again, Maria Davis, and I'm back again with another interesting video. If you don't know what 4B movement is at this point, let me just give you the brief 4B movement. It is not dating men, not sleeping with men, not having children with men, and not marrying men and it started in korea and now it's in the west and there's a lot of chaos men are talking women are talking black women are talking white women are talking and it is just everywhere but in today's video we're talking about black we black men not just black men literally men men you know saying that these four baby women cannot work in america blah 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 Anyways, <laughs> let me know your thoughts about this video, why I share these videos for you all to watch down in the comment section. I'll be back to share my opinion at the end of all the videos. Now, I'm going to just say this. The 4B movement is not going to work in the United States of America. All right. I, this one. <laughs> let me tell you all something. About, let me tell you all my thoughts on the 4B movement thing. First of all, the 4B movement, which was started in 2019 by women in South Korea, they don't want anything to do with men at all. It doesn't matter if the men are good, bad, horrible, whatever. They are restricting sexual access. They're not marrying, not going on dates with men, period. Because they're, what, that, what their movement is based in is a rejection of quote-unquote conservative values over there. Now, I'm going to just say this. The 4B movement is not going to work in the United States of America. It's not. And the reason it's not going to work in the United States of America, for one, is you will always have small sections of pick Misha's that will still give Pookies and Ray Rays access to the draws. I mean, I'm just keeping it, I'm going to keep it a buck with you. It's not, it's not going to work. As long as you have a small cauldron of women giving up the draws to the Pookies, the Ray Rays, whatever the case may be, the 4B movement is dead. You understand me? It's, it is dead on arrival in, in the West. Now, what I have always told women is that women really have, the 4B movement actually does demonstrate how powerful women really are. What I mean by that is this. I have always told women in my content, ladies, imagine what would happen if every woman in the United States said to even get close to me, to even gain sexual access to me, to get even have that as a possibility. You have to demonstrate to me that you have a high income skill or that you're working to obtain a high income skill. You have a certificate, college education, some sort of business, something that shows stability in mental state, income and good and have good moral character. And if they display that, and also they have to display a willingness to exclusively deal with you, they don't because monogamy is more is going to be more successful than polygamy, and, I, and that's my that's my opinion. Y'all can disagree with me all you want. I don't I don't really give a shit. The fact of the matter is, we don't have men actually acting as if they care about women, and a lot and a small percentage of women act like men are just a economic resource. We need each other if the human race is going to survive. It is a stupid ideology. Yes, I said it. It is a stupid ideology to think that you can have a world without men. It is a stupid ideology to think you can have a world without women. That is the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. We need each other for the propagation, if nothing else, for the continuation of the human race at the minimum. So the 4B movement in South Korea, however, is rooted in simply saying we don't need men, period, which is just it's insane to me. The 4B movement is not going to work in the West, but it does show 
how powerful women actually are. You did. I keep seeing this shit about the 4B movement, so I finally bit the bullet and just like searched it up on TikTok. And from what I understand, it's a bunch of women from Korea, I believe. They, they're they tired with the misogyny and everything that's going on with men over there and how men are treating them. And they're refusing to have kids, marry men, or have any sex with men and blah, 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 blah. And people are saying, should they bring that to America? Should they bring that to Western countries? And here's what I feel like. Y'all could do whatever y'all like. Social media, specifically for women, has tricked y'all into thinking that men want relationships more than women. Y'all have sat up here and listened to these pink pill podcasters for so long that you're flailing and you don't know who to listen to. You don't even know what you want anymore. And this is coming from a man who was married with three kids. I'm about to get snipped up. I'm done having kids, so this shit ain't gonna affect me at all. <laughs> I'm just saying it sounds kind of crazy. First, y'all tried to go with the hookup culture to be liberated sexually and give you, you know, my body, my choice, give your body to all these men, not realizing that like hookup culture is for men. No one benefits from hookup culture more than men. So then you were like, okay, well, I can't do the same thing as them. That doesn't work out. Fuck it, I'm gonna go to the other end of the spectrum. No children, no sex, no nothing. Which I think is, you know, more beneficial to you than hookup culture. But at the same time, it's like, they're not even dating men. They're not doing anything. It's like, y'all have to go touch the grass outside. And like I said, I'm married with kids, so I'm standing on the outside of this looking in. And it's just like, if y'all don't see that these cultures try to affect women and not men, it's crazy. Everything is being aimed straight at young women. Y'all don't see how much y'all are switching and whipping and dipping and doing different shit. Y'all don't see it. It's actually scary. Y'all went from hot girl summers to being girl bosses to now you want a soft life. You want to be feminine. Fuck all this dumb shit. What is going on? Are any of you individuals who know what you actually want out of life? Because I'm seeing it and it's just a, a pendulum swing. Well, I tried that movement. That ain't work. I'm gonna try this movement. All right. I don't know what y'all uh, should do with your life. I ain't your fucking therapist. But what I will tell you is that like following trends on the internet and letting it affect your real life, it's kind of crazy. The 4B movement is going to force men to be red pill. It doesn't matter if you're single married in a relationship you're going to be forced to be a red pill brother man and if you're already a red pill man right now this 4b movement is a victory for us because everything that we've said every every boundary that we set that's what we meant and they and this is why they have to do what they have to do you understand what i'm saying because we told them we don't want no old single mothers we don't want Women with high body counts. And so with, with that being said, like they have to do this, guys. You have to understand this is a victory for men. Because listen, we know that the majority of the women who are talking all this about the 4B movement, they've hit the wall. They're over 30. They had children before they got married. They've never been married, but they got children. And they got a high body count, bro. You know what I'm saying? So they're, they're doing us a favor. Okay, so forgive me, but apparently I've been out of the loop. I'm starting to see this, this, uh, what's, uh, CB4, 4Bats? 4B movement. Yeah, I'm starting to see this 4B movement take over my TikTok to you. And I'm just like, okay, what is this? Then I do the research to see what it is. And I laughed for 30 straight minutes. The reason I laughed is because... Ladies, y'all do this every couple years. Every couple years, y'all create this new sub-genre feminist movement that has the same premise as the last one. And to people with logical minds and critical thinking, all those movements do is prove that misery loves company. Because it's not enough for you as an individual, as a woman, to say, you know what? Until I find a man that's, you know, that's on the same wave I'm on, until I find a man that meets my standards and my preferences and all of that, then I'm abstaining from all of that stuff. That's not enough. You got to go find other women to align yourself with so you don't look as lonely. And in all the research I've done, I've seen that y'all got it from the from Korean women. But then I go to Korean TikTok and all them Korean women is saying, we don't know what them Western women talking about. Over here, 
We still want kids, marriage, love, and relationships. And y'all are allowing a very small group of Korean women to influence y'all. And to be real, the main reason why these sub-genre groups and movements never take off and grow legs, besides on social media, is just y'all not strong enough. It's always F men, men ain't nothing, I'm done with men, until Big Dick Darrow takes you and he want to work it out for the 700th time. The women who start these movements and who are a part of these movements are just carbon copies of the same woman. The woman who can't get the men that she wants, not the men that want her or the, all, all the other millions of men, because she can't get the men that she wants to act right, now it's F all men and I'm done with the whole thing. Listen, I will scream this from the mountaintops for as long as I live. Men need women and women need men. But listen, y'all can keep on trying to put on this front, go out here and fool people like you really would not care if you lived the rest of your life alone. I'm just lost on how a bunch of women gonna come together and say they're done with marriage when women are not the ones who decide who gets married to begin with. But hey, it's just history repeating itself. You know, in two or three years, it's going to be a brand new subgenre feminist movement that's going to sweep the nation and take over social media. And it's going to be it's going to be prominent and popular for about three weeks, because as soon as the men y'all want decide they want to see what's up with you, <laughs> all that go out the window. But hey, good luck. You know, I ain't going to be a hater. You know what I'm saying? Happy April Fools. What better day than today to discuss the 4B movement? <clears throat> Let's get into it. The 4B movement, also known as Four Knows, is a feminist movement that originated in South Korea in 2019. It advocates for women to renounce four major activities, sex with men, child rearing, dating men, and marriage with men. The movement criticizes marriage for reinforcing traditional gender roles and is part of a broader digital feminist movement. Members often identify as anonymous females, or anonymous women, and use social media to discuss and envision a future without men, aiming to foster solidarity and protest against societal expectations. It also goes into the influence, the things that influenced it, like the Escape the Corset movement in 2016, also uh, because it's about restrictive beauty standards and consumerism. It also goes into, also influenced by the novel written by Chim Ji Young, entitled Born in 1982 and the South Korean Me Too movement, and it also goes into the estimate of 5,000 to 50,000 South Korean men, women who are involved in the 4B movement. What does this mean for us in the black community? Does the 4B movement have any validity in the black community pertaining to black women? Yes, it does. Things like 4B, me Too, divesting, and all of the other ideologies that black women have gravitated to that sends out a battle cry for other black women to uh, take a break from trusting black men is a direct reflection of black men's inability or unwillingness to evolve. We're not putting ourselves in the best position to actually be an advocate or an asset to black women. And we don't know what side of the fence we're on. You know, one moment we complain about black women being 304 and 304 culture and not choosing better and not making the right decisions on which men they choose and things like that. And now we're complaining about this. And I mean, the 4B movement is definitely, uh, you know, on, definitely on the road to accountability, right? Self accountability, where women are now saying, you know, we're, we're just going to remove ourselves from the equation until you men get your shit together. And women have a gripe. They have a valid gripe. Society has not treated women fairly for thousands of years. And here we are, we putting probes on Mars. And we still can't figure out how to treat women like human beings. What were, you, what were we expecting? Seriously, like, what were we expecting from women? We're, we're, we're expecting women to just continuously keep laying down and take it, and we're getting worse. Brothers, we're getting worse. We're not getting better. For those of us who are on this front line, or let me change that. For those of you who are on this front line of the gender war, you're not getting better.
on both sides, but I'm speaking to the brothers right now. You're not getting better. Your rhetoric is getting worse. Your behaviors are getting worse. What were you expecting? Now, although this movement in South Korea is probably a small, when you're talking about 5,000 to 50,000 women, great things start in small packages. It does. And so if it spreads like wildfire, some of us are going to have a problem when it comes to finding a suitable mate. But again, a lot of us, we're just not up to par. We just gotta keep it, be honest. But, you know, I could pander to you men and tell you that the women are crazy and a lot of them don't have a right to even want to be part of the 4B movement because, you know, some of them got kids, they're single mothers, some of them are divorced, and some of them used to have sex, they're not virgins, and yada, yada, yada. But none of that has any validity to it because a person can actually subscribe to the 4B movement and only subscribe to two of the Bs, one of the Bs, or all of the Bs. They're human beings. They can choose whatever the fuck they want. They really do not need our supervision. And that is why 4B, Me Too, and all these other movements have been created. Because women are trying to tell us, men, especially black men, we do not need your supervision. Our connection with you should be 100% voluntary. Voluntary. It should not be forced. It should not be some type of religious dogma charter that you women better and you better get you a man and man. Whatever they do in life should be 100% voluntary. Voluntary. And until we come to the conclusion that women are not children, they do not need to be supervised. They're not the weaker vessel. They're not a vessel for Lucifer. They are actually fully autonomous human beings that can make whatever decision they want and accept the ramifications of their decisions. 4B is, is just the beginning. 4B is just the beginning. Do I believe that the future is female? No. Because the future being female means that there, there is no future for mankind. For humans, there is no future. But I understand. I do. I understand. I don't understand why we've done. What I don't understand is why men are shocked. Our rhetoric has gotten 10 times worse. Year over year, month over month, day after day, we come up with some new fuck shit to talk about. And we always blaming the women. So now the women are saying, okay, since you guys don't want to change, you don't want to improve, we're going to separate ourselves and whatever aspect of the 4B movement that sets right with that woman, and she's going to stand on business. Now, does this mean that there are no good black men and good black women out here? No, it doesn't. Most of us, um, most of us are struggling with dating because you vibrate on lower frequencies. You hang around a bunch of men that hate women. And good women don't hang around men that hate women. They're not even involved in those conversations or moving in those spaces. So if a good woman, a woman that will make a great life partner for you, she's perusing TikTok at her leisure, and she comes up on your live on her For You page, and it's just a bunch of black women hate, she's going to keep scrolling. You missed your train. Same thing for women. If you're on the panel... And it's just a bunch of black men hate speech. And there's a good black man, a self-conscious, evolved black man. And he's scrolling through TikTok at his leisure. And he sees you there on the panel. He's scrolling. He's going to keep scrolling. And it doesn't matter where you meet him. In the real world or online. If you are vibrating on lower frequencies, people who vibrate on higher frequencies will not see you. It's like a ghost. Right? Because certain... Entities vibrate on certain frequencies that are not privy to our spectrum of sight. Same shit. So although there is a problem, a lot of the times the problem is self-inflicted. And maybe the women are saying, you know, until I can increase my vibrations, my vibrational frequencies, I'm going to subscribe to the, all the four Bs, two of the four Bs, one of the four Bs, and none of the four Bs. I don't know. And to be honest with you, it's not my concern because I am sure that whatever women are subscribing to this know exactly what they're doing. And they do not need my tutelage. They don't need my guidance. They don't need my leadership to show them if they're doing the right thing or not. They don't. They're not my children. They're not my daughters. They're grown human beings. A human being first, a woman second. So 
Hey, if you got a problem with the full beat movement, you might want to look internally because you may be vibrating on lower frequencies and you're already having a hard time and you probably feel like this is really going to make it tough for you. And, you know, I, I wish I could give you some words of encouragement, but I can't. Um, I got nothing for you. Just hope the best. Prepare for the worst. Peace. These men are scared, you all. They are literally scared. As I said earlier, they are scared because they know that women are powerful together. And once they decide they want to do something, it happens. One way or the other, it happens. And they are scared. You all, I got a few reactions from women from this their post. So I'm going to play some reaction for you all to watch them. We'll come back and talk about it. The 4B movement is not going to work in the United States of America. It's not. Yes, it is. Listen, we can't keep worrying about the small increment of women that are still going to give it away to the Pookies and Ray Rays. There's a majority of women that are now ready to be respected and we are ready to take ourselves seriously if we're not playing. So, sure, there's going to be a small increment of women that's still going to give it away and not be a part of the 4B movement, but guess what? The same men that are going to deal with those kinds of women they don't even want those kinds of women anyway so if they don't have access to us and they only have access to them and they don't even want them they're going to get tired of them and they're going to be forced to still go without anyway so it's going to work a million times over please tell me you've heard the men who oppose the 4b movement please tell me you've listened to what they have to say it won't work. Why are you talking about it if it won't work? If it's just a silly thing that won't work, why are you talking about it? <laughs> and then the ones who are like, it's going to ruin community. What? Because the romantic relationships won't be happening with men who treat women terrible? Aww. No new relationships, no new friends. <laughs> and then they're like, I need to be able to treat women any way I want and still have access to them. Okay, partner, slow down there. You Take it easy. <laughs> What do you think's going to happen? You think they're going to make a law saying that the 4B movement's illegal? You think it's going to be enacted into law? I dare you. One thing that's true about women is if they know it annoys you and they do not like you, they are going to do it more and more and more and more. So I wish you the best of luck on your journey of opposing the 4B movement. You're, you're not going to get between the legs like that very often. It might be expensive if you do. The 4B movement, which was started in 2019 by women in South Korea. I smell fear. I smell the fear of a man that lives in the basement of his mother's house eating cheese sandwiches with the crust cut off, knowing that they're going to have a really good relationship with their hand. <laughs> yeah, bye. If you're still here, kindly put your thoughts and your comments and your opinion and your suggestion down in the comment section. 4B movement is here to stay, whether they like it or not. <laughs> They're getting scared, yo. But I thought they said they do not need women. Women that see, I feel like they are scared and they are trying to, you know, when you're trying to beg, but you're begging indirectly. So you're not begging like directly. You, you should just come out and say, women okay we are sorry we'll change blah 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 not going and saying we men need women we all need each other blah 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 we know we need each other we've tried to make things work women have tried to make things work but the way society view women the way society plays women the way society doesn't even like women is alarming and especially men men are always glorified even when they do something that is annoying when they do something very bad they are always glorified but let a woman do it she's shameless she's bad she's a disgrace she's people look down on her so much and which is really bad so now women go into relationship with men and they treat them anyhow they do not respect them they do not even like them to start with they do not even like them and these are this is not just normal relationships some are even married they do not like their wives at all so now if women decide not to 
be in a relationship with you, not have kids for you because they are giving birth for you, for your sake, for your legacy, as they say, to continue. We may go through stress just to give birth to you, give birth for you. And when she does, all you do is body shame her. Look at your belly. Look at look at how you look. I cannot be with a single mother. I cannot do this. I cannot do that. But you are the one that made her that way. You see men leaving women just because they are pregnant. They treat women so bad. Is it the dating? They treat women so bad. They cheat with their full chest. And now women are like, you know what? We've seen that you are the problem. You are the reason that it's just being with you alone is a problem. We don't want to be with you. These men are scared. Because the only ones that are not going to join this 4B movement are the Pikmishas. And the Pikmishas, they don't get picked. We've talked about this. These Pikmishas don't get picked. So they are scared that if these ones that we want are like, we don't want you, we want to join the 4B movement. <laughs> Who are they going to go meet? It is a pick misha. And now they don't pick the pick misha. They don't like the pick misha. What are they going to do? So they are scared. They are literally begging you all. I feel like they are begging. The video shows to me that some of them are begging. <laughs> Anyways, let me know your thoughts about this video down in the comment section. And thank you all so much for sticking around to this point. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and share and subscribe. And can you turn on post notification bells so can get notified once I upload another interesting video like this one. And of course, you all, I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.